isolated from other cutthroat when the last ice age created the impassable lower falls, Yellowstone's cutthroat became genetically distinct and the foundation of a thriving ecosystem. Just 20 years ago, there were 50,000 cutthroat passing through Clear Creek. In 2014, there were only about 100 individuals. The invading American lake trout is huge and insatiable. A single lake trout can eat more than 40 cutthroat a year. And now they've brought the Yellowstone cutthroat to the brink of extinction. The scientists needed to find out where the lake trout were coming from. So they sampled the ear bones from the oldest and biggest of the lake trout. Under the microscope, the ear bones show growth rings like trees, showing how old the invaders were and where they came from. With time running out and the whole ecosystem at risk, the biologists needed a more audacious plan. So Gresswell and his team tag lake trout with GPS transmitters and follow them to their spawning grounds. After one year of tracking, the researchers finally hone in on a major spawning ground in the waters off Carrington Island. Now that they've found the spawning ground, it's time to bring in the heavy artillery. Electric pulses kill the fry before they grow large enough to eat their way through to their native cutthroat cousins. And now, for the first time, there may be real reason for hope on the horizon. Slowly, the invasive lake trout numbers are falling. Perhaps, with a little bit of help, the ancient wisdom of Yellowstone is already turning the tide against our short-sightedness. And the world's first national park will return to its primal rhythms once again. <laughs>